Hey dolls, so this is our what's for dinner segment. I'm, I'm going to try to be consistent, but y'all know how I do. But anyway, <laughs> um, we are going to be making some seafood rice on today's what's for dinner segment. Now, um, my seafood rice is going to be very cost effective. I could get a little bougie with it, but I'm we're going to do cost effective right now. So, um, you are going to need your yellow rice for your base. This is I like to use yellow rice. You can use any kind of rice you want, but for my recipe, we are going to be using some yellow rice. I'm going to be using the, you know, the Zatarin's yellow rice. This is our base. For our liquid, instead of water, I'm going to use some seafood stock. That you can, and you can buy it in the grocery store. So I'm going to be using some seafood stock. This is what I'm going to cook my rice in. I'm going to, I'm going to cook this. Instead of using water, I'm going to cook my rice in the seafood stock. And then what I'm going to also use is some imitation um, crab meat. That I've got from Kroger, and then we also are going to be using some large raw shrimp that I'm going to saute with some um, a three pepper blend. So, you know, basically your onion, your red, yellow, and green bell peppers, and then for our seasoning that we're going to use, we need some Old Bay. This is going to go on the imitation crab meat and the shrimp. We have some tomato bouillon onion powder, some black pepper, a little parsley for color, some unsalted butter, and those are our ingredients right now. So you don't really need a lot of ingredients to make your seafood rice, just, you know, the basics. You can also add in some scallops. Um, you can add in a host of other, you know, seafood that any other seafood that you do like you can add in some crawfish if you choose to but this is what i'll be using um so let me go ahead and start prepping and then we gonna get to cooking all right dolls now so i have my crab meat and my shrimp all chopped up i actually chopped them up in little cubes i cut my shrimp in half to you know make it enough so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add our season so first season we're gonna add i'm actually going to add some um minced garlic in here so i don't follow recipes so <laughs> we're just gonna eyeball it gonna add our minced garlic in here and it's gonna give it a really really good flavor if i get it out of here then it might be too much oh it is what it is we like garlic <laughs> I'm going to add my um, tomato bouillon. Not too much though. going to add some black pepper. going to add some parsley. onion powder and I'm just eyeballing it because I kind of know how I want it to taste and then we're going to add some old bay some old bay <laughs> old bay is going to give it a nice little spice and then we gonna mix all this up. Mm. Mm. Let's smell good already. Get your nose out of there, boy. <laughs> and then what we're gonna do is after we um after I get this all mixed up, because you don't really need to mix it up too too much. I'm going to go ahead and saute this in a pan with the bell peppers and onions. So, but look at that already. Oh, it smells good. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at all the spices and stuff on the spoon. It smells good already. 
difference in it. All right, so I have my onion and bell pepper mix, sauteing away in the saucepan, in a um, pan with some butter. We're gonna let this cook down because I, I want them to cook down. I just seasoned my um, bell pepper mix with some a little salt, pepper, and some of that tomato bouillon. So we're gonna let this cook down, and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's um, once it's cooked down. Our rice is still cooking because I am also cooking the rice. Um, while I'm sauteing this, then once this cooks down, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add my um, shrimp and crab mix into this, and then we're going to let those saute. Um, and then once those saute, we are going to add that to the rice. So hold on for me. Okay, so um, as you can see, they have cooked down, they are sizzling and things like that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add our seafood. So go ahead and get my seafood, boy. I have my little sous chef in here with A helping me y'all so go ahead come on work yeah come on come on I'll hold it don't make a mess now be careful we don't want to waste nothing Ooh, look how good that looks it's going to take no time for the shrimp to cook. Alright. So, I'm going to go ahead and keep on mixing this. Alright, so we are going to mix this up. As like y'all can see, this imitation crab meat is very, very delicate. So, we got to be careful with it. And what we're basically doing is we're just cooking this enough to cook the shrimp. So this is what our seafood mix is looking like. All nice and pretty. Oh, that looks so pretty. <laughs> Here's our rice. Um, the rice is cooking down, as you guys can see. You don't really need a lot of rice. This is two boxes, so I did two boxes. So I did five cups um, of liquid. So I used four cups of the seafood stock and one cup of rice because I didn't want it too, too salty. So that's what I use, and then once um, this mix cooks down, we are going to add this to this. Y'all get it? This to this. <laughs> okay. All right, y'all. So we are done making our seafood rice. This is what this is looking like. I have it in a baking dish instead of a bowl because I don't want it to be lumpy or clumpy or get mushy or anything. The bacon just allows the rice to breathe and you know allows it to allow it to still stay fluffy and things like that. Um, so look at it in each and every bite. No matter what kind, of, I get a spoonful, I am definitely going to get seafood in it, okay? Um, this recipe is very easy to follow. It's very inexpensive. Like I said, you're going to see, you know, all your shrimp. You're going to see your crab meat. You're going to see your veggies and things like that. And you can definitely serve this alone. It can be a standalone meal, or you definitely can serve it with, like, some salmon croquettes. Um, you can even do fried chicken if you like. I don't care how you do it, but you can definitely um, have this as a side dish as well, not just a standalone dish. But it, it definitely can be just a standalone dish because it is very, very hearty. You have your vegetables in there. You have your protein in there. You have your starch. Boom, one pot meal. Um, of course, you know, I did cook the seafood and the rice separately simply because I didn't want things to get too mushy or too overcooked. Because it's very easy to overcook shrimp. And we don't want to overcook no shrimp, okay? We want our shrimp to be nice and firm, but not, you know, soggy or anything or too firm and hard. So, yeah, this is our seafood rice. Y'all let me know how um, 
how you like this dish. If you want to see more like one pot cohesive dishes, of course, comment down below. But this dish can definitely feed, I want to say about a good um, six to seven people. It's a good dish to make. If you want to double up the recipe, it's very easy to double up, of course. You want to be bad and bougie with it. You can definitely make your own seafood stock to cook your rice in. And you can also use um, real crab meat, and, you know, like the lump crab meat instead of the imitation crab, of course. You can definitely do this dish very many ways. You can use even um, you can even put scallops in here, or if you wanted to put um, chunks of salmon, you can do so. But this is just the way I chose to do it right now. I'm on a budget, so but I, I didn't want you know the same everyday dish, of course. So you know I like to switch it up for the kids and Tony and me. So you gotta switch it up sometimes because you can't get bored with your food. So. I'm going to stop rambling on because I'm getting out of breath and I'm hungry looking at this. So, y'all, thanks so much for watching. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Of course, if you make my recipes, of course, definitely. I don't mind you tagging me. Tag me. Do what you need to do. Share this video. Of course, I don't mind you sharing. It is free. Definitely check out my other videos as well. Y'all know I have some wig reviews that I just put out. So, check those out and also share those. And I'm going to go ahead and go, y'all. Bye, dolls.